This is the dream treehouse. Hey everybody, Pete Nelson here from Treehouse Masters. And today I'm just a little north of New York City, a place called Suffern, New York. And we are here because we have just completed a building, a treehouse of course, for Grace Vanderwall. You may know that name because she is the incredible ukulele player that won America's Got Talent a little while back. She's fantastic. And what she wanted to do with her winnings was build the sickest treehouse in the world. You ready to see it? Because it's done. Ta-da! Look at that. There are two treehouses, actually, and they're connected by this beautiful bridge. On the right is the art studio, and on the left is sort of the clubhouse treehouse. Before I go into the treehouses, I just want to show you how these bouncy bridges are made structurally, because they're a little bit tricky. So come with me. So here is this beautiful red oak, specimen of a red oak right in the prime of its life. And this is kind of connecting two separate bridges. So structurally, we've got these big bolts that go into the tree, cables that stretch over to the other tree, or the structure in this case. And that is so much pressure. I mean, there's really quite a bit of, of pull happening here. I mean, we've got a great tree, so I'm not worried about it. But there are forces uh, that are quite astounding when you do the math. So you'll see these big, heavy cables, and then secondary redundant backup. This loops around and catches the end of the cable should the other one break, which is highly unlikely. This little loop that goes around is just a safety loop, so it would, it would catch it if it fell. These are big braces because when you come to a tree like this, the transition from one bridge to the next requires a little bit of a platform, so we've created a pretty heavy-duty platform right here so you can get around the tree and go from one bridge to the next. I love those spiral stairs. Okay, come and take a look at this. This is so cute. Just a little clubhouse hangout. Got a refrigerator. We've got couches, lights, chairs, nice little furry rugs. There's even a little dog house. Upstairs to a beautiful little hangout there. There's a little bed up there. You can take a nap. Just feels nice in here. It really does. Tapestries. I think Christina, our designer, has really nailed it. Okay, so Grace has two tree houses here in Suffern. One of them is the Boho Hangout, which is the one we're in right now. And the one across the bridge is the ultra poppy 80s themed art studio. So what I want to talk about is how even though they seem technically totally different, they actually have a lot of the same things going on. So the first is something like this hanging chair. The 80s one also has a hanging chair, but this is very boho. We got cool textures, rattan. It is very much um, our Bedouin tent aesthetic, which is what we're kind of going for in here. Across the bridge, we have a crazy 80s plastic bubble of a hanging chair, which is completely different and perfect for that space. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is literally the density of the furniture in these spaces. So in here, we have these sort of rattan pieces that are literally see-through. This chair too. These are really light. So even though you've got the comfort of a regular love seat, right? It doesn't have the same kind of weight and, and density of a, of a sofa. Okay, onto the bridge, boingy. So here's the platform, the transition platform, right? One bridge there, transition platform that I was pointing out before, heavy duty, and then to the next bridge. Really fun, nice and safe. Maple trees, big deck. So this is sort of a creative space, an art studio, and it's just a lot of windows, and that's so important in treehouse building. Windows, doors, these are old windows. We painted a little green to match the clubhouse windows, but these are all taken from local sources. You know, structurally, they can be a little bit tricky too because this is just brittle glass, of course. So in the end, you've got to have some sheer walls. So we've got a big four foot wide wall here. The whole back of the tree house is one solid mass, no windows there. And then the other side creates kind of a U shape and trying to rack that would be really hard when you have the roof on and the floor. So we can get away with putting windows like this right here. And I think that just lets in all that light because this in the end is a nice place to go do art, you know, and have all that natural light. I think it's really important to have that when you've got a treehouse. 
then you know you're in a treehouse. So Grace really wanted this to be a sort of 80s pop themed art studio. So we've done that and then some. So check this out. We've got this crazy bubble chair. We have neon, nothing says 80s like neon. And then we have these crazy action packed pillows. We have this lucite desk, this electric blue rug. I mean, seriously, this place is 80s. I just think this is such a spot. I mean, this is the dream clubhouse treehouse. I mean, outdoor space, place to hang out with your friends, two spiral staircases, bouncy bridges, art studio, clubhouse with a loft. Thanks again. Ha.